<laughs> decided to say, we don't care. We are not, okay. we're, we're, we're the party. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me hold your thoughts there as uh, um, I connect with um, the Katina State Governor-elect, uh, Diko Umar Rada, who is live um, on the program uh, this evening from Katina. Glad to have you on TVC News tonight. Um, how much work did you put into this uh, enterprise? How much work did you put into um, this uh, election uh, to get the mandate of the people? Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, I must give glory to Almighty God who made it possible for me to win this election. And I'm very grateful to every person in Katsuna State who has given me the mandate to lead the people of Katsuna State to the greater height. My own is that I will say that uh, what, since when we started, we started very well. We worked very hard. We went to 361 wards across the state. We met the people, we seek for their support, and they supported us. We thank Almighty God for making it possible to us. Okay, now that you are governor-elect, um, um, what is next uh, for Diko Umaru next, Rada? What yeah, are your immediate plans? To, what are your yes, immediate the, plans the next, for the people of Katina State? Yes, yes, yes. We, we, since when we started last uh, two years, we came up with our strategic policy. Uh, we didn't come out to seek for the governorship of Katsuna State blindly. We planned for it. We came with our strategic policy. We have focus areas, and uh, we are going to pursue those, uh, those things that we put in place. And God willing, we are going to put best people on the board to help us uh, meet the mandate of the people. And we must be, I must say that I want to thank the for all his support. He has played the role of a father, and uh, he has done very well to us. And we must say that we thank the president, uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari, for also supporting us. And uh, all the people of Katsina State, I must say that I thank them all. And this is time for work. This is not time for politics. I want to assure the people of Katsina State we carry everyone on board. Even my opponent, I'm calling them so that they should come and give us support so that we can have the state we want to have, the state of our dream. So we want to, we are calling on all my opponents. The game of politics has finished and uh, we are now building Katsuna State. So I'm calling on every person to come on board, including my close opponents and all other opponents. So I think it is important all the parties should keep the party politics aside and now we face the governance and the people of Katsuna State. We thank everyone. Okay. Um when the APC lost um, Katina State during the presidential elect, did that put you on the edge going into this election? No, 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 not at all, because people forget to understand the fact that we had three elections. And the first election was the senatorial election, which APC won all the three senatorial seats. The second election was the House of Representatives election, in which APC won nine out of 15. And the next one is the presidential election. And the presidential election gave us an age or a, a, a margin of only 6,000 plus, which is not something to worry about. If you look at the margin that we created in the senatorial and House of Representative election, we see that we have created more than 50,000 gap between us and the other party that is following us. So we don't see that election as if we have lost the election. We have won the election. We have won two categories of it. It's only the presidential, and you know why? Because there is a bit of a regional and then tribal uh, politics in the, in the presidential election, which makes it a little difficult for us to win the presidential election. But my cue, Katuna State was the third to provide highest vote for Aswaji Bola Ahmed in our president elect. Absolutely. And that takes me to my next question. You are the governor-elect of the APC, and we have uh, a president-elect of the same party. Uh, what sort of collaboration should the people of Katina State be expecting uh, from uh, the federal down to the state in terms of development of Katina State? Yeah, I think this is very important, and that is the main reason why we work hard so that we have an APC president. And that's because if you are a governor, you need a president who is in your party, which makes it possible for you to make a lot of progress in your state. But Mike, you, uh, we, 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 know that, uh, we know that we needed the president. I've been around the power politics 
uh, for a very long time. I've been around the corridor of power. I've worked at the federal level. I've worked at the state level. So I know what collaboration is all about. So we need that kind of synergy to move our state forward. Okay, well, you've won this election, and uh, I, I hope uh, deep down in you it's a case of no victor, no vanquish. How do you intend to work uh, with your uh, you know, um, 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 opponents uh, to you know, get some ideas from them and uh, get to help your state? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using this medium also to invite all the opponents to come on board so that they can, we can sit down together and see how we can progress this state. But the most essentially is that uh, I have said it earlier that politics aside, we are now going to build Kazan State and we need everybody who has idea. And if you look at the pattern of election in Kazan State, it clearly demonstrated that we have won all the local governments in the state, all the local governments. So that has given us an aid. I think we lost only one local government and with a little margin. That shows that the election was beyond party. It has caught across all the political parties. People have voted for credibility. And Katana people are wise, and, and, and they have voted for credibility. And I think this is a great one for political progress in this country. All right. Katsina State is one of those states that have been ravaged with uh, insecurities and banditry. Uh, what will you be doing to put that in check during your administration? Yes, I, I, I want to make it clear to everyone that I was a victim of banditry in Katsina State. My close brother, whom we are same father and mother, I lost him uh, due to this insurgency. And, uh, and my brother was also kidnapped. I had to pay ransom to, 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 to free him. And I think I have this thing daily in me. And but my it, first priority now is to provide peace and security in my state. If, I have said it over and over. Even if we are going to spend the whole money of Katana State to restore peace and, and, and to restore peace in Katana State, I'm going to do that. But the ADP Okay, um, Governor-elect, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. Um, what would be your message to the people of Katina State now that you've been, um, I mean, um, um, brought into power? Yeah, my message to Katina people is to say that uh, we need the support of each and every person in Katina State, irrespective of which political party you belong. Our main idea and the the main thing that we are facing now is the progress of the state. And I'm also soliciting for the support of everyone so that together we can build a state of our dream. Mm. Governor-elect uh, of Katsina State, Diko Umar.